Hello YouTube. So, um, well, first it goes without saying, my office is a terrible, terrible mess, but uh, let's not get off topic here. Um, so in the background is my Prusa clone. It started out as a Mark II S, um, and then I've just upgraded it to a Mark 2.5 S. Uh, it's actually 2.5 S plus because it has the uh, the new Super Pinda. Uh, but the other upgrades, it's brand new extruder with Bontech gears and a filament sensor. Um, most importantly, what I really wanted was that magnetic bed surface for easy part removal. However, I found that the new uh, extruder is a little shorter. Therefore, um, the machine needs to lower the print uh, extruder lower to the print surface in order to get that first layer. And because I don't have the real Prusa uh, Z motors with uh, the I-Rods made onto them, I've got those couplers. Um, the couplers hit the X and stops, and uh, or the motor mount and the uh, idler, and they won't let the machine um, properly uh, interface with the build surface. So I've got those parts on order, um, but um, since I had 3D printed all the parts for the upgrade in advance and I hadn't anticipated that, I need these little dust covers um, that they uh, have for those special uh, Z-Rod motors to keep all the junk out of them when it's printing. And I didn't have a way to print it, so I pulled my little uh, printer bot 1405 off the shelf and uh, fired it up. And in true rep wrap uh, spirit, I'm going to print parts for my 3D printer with another 3D printer, uh, kind of crazy. So here's the part. And uh, the first thing we need to do, the part is modeled in .stl, which is stereolithography, I think it's called. Um, so uh, in case people have not done any 3D printing before, and this is a really old version of the software that is all set up to work with my old 3D printer, but, um, Let's get this dude uh, fixed up. So first we need to slice it, which is convert the model from this 3D format into, uh, into layers that the 3D printer can print. And I've got my printer set up and settings and extruder. That's the part that melts the plastic. And I'm going to slice. Um, and you'll see it's, it's doing the math and then it's converted it into layers. And because I don't have a heated bed on this old printer, I'm using a little trick called a brim here, which will break away, but that will sort of glue it down to the print surface really well so that the part won't warp at all. And now I'm gonna hit the print button. Okay, and you're gonna see the first thing the printer's gonna do is it's going to measure the build surface in three different spots. And that makes sure that it's going to account for any surface irregularity, uh, irregularity, sorry. Um, and now it should be warming up. Okay, and here it is. The first thing it's gonna do is it's gonna print a, uh, what is it called? Um, a, a skirt maybe? Uh, a little junk came off the print head. A uh, parameter um, just to get the uh, the filament flowing and, and coming out nicely. And now you see the little gap in between that perimeter. That's the brim, that's that uh, piece that I showed you that's going to help stick the part down. One of the things I love about this old printer, besides the fact that it's completely made out of wood, um, is that the stepper motors are especially musical. Um, so a lot of people want a silent 3D printer. I just love the noises this thing makes. It's really cool. Okay, now it should be on layer two, which if you, we look, when it gets onto layer two, it turns on the fan automatically, and then it's sort of cycling through the commands that it, the software is giving the printer. Um, really neato. Anyways, 
And so I've already printed um, a part here. Oops, here it is. Uh, and that's what I'm doing, but it's just kind of neat that uh, you, know, you can make parts uh, to fix another printer. Anyways, uh, hopefully in the next video, I'll have the new uh, motor so I can get my newly upgraded uh, uh, 3D uh, printer, my Prusa i3 clone um, running again. And then uh, I'll be working on a lot more Nito uh, prints. But until then, uh, I'll be making parts on my uh, old reliable here. Anyways, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. See you later. Bye.